Hello guys and welcome back to Gemini Gamer. So this is a new KSP news show. This is week number 13. I had originally already made this episode, but new news came out today. And uh, coincidentally, it's a Wednesday, so I decided just to release it today. Uh, and it's big news. So the gameplay you're going to be watching is going to be of me working on a little rover that I made during the KSP mod top 5 list that was testing the mods. So, uh, you know, go, hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, that's not really gameplay representing what the game is going to be, but it's just good looking gameplay, so I decided to just use that. So anyway, we got really good news today. Really big news, actually. And uh, it's a release date, so, you know, it's not for the console version. It's actually for uh, the PC version. And that is, we're going to get the Making History expansion on March the 13th of 2018. So... That's a little more than a month from now, but you know, at least we have a release date now, right? And as far as I know, this is not the 1.4 update. This is the expansion, the DLC, the one you're gonna have to pay for. Um, and if you don't know what this is gonna include, is basically it's gonna include a mission builder, a history pack with history missions, historical missions where you basically recreate historical events like you know the moonwalk, the first spacewalk, you know, stuff like that, cool stuff like that. Lots of new historical parts. So, you know, the 1.872 parts and the 5 point meter parts are going to be included in this. And, uh, yeah, so the price, they also gave us a price. So, for you guys that don't want to pay money, uh, it's going to be a little bit tough to pay this. But you got to do what you got to do if you want it. Especially if it, if it adds anything really good to the game, you might want to buy it. And, you know, I would pay it just because I love KSP, but I don't know about you guys. Anyway, so the price is $14.99, you know. Uh, average DLC price, you know, $14.99, whatever. The parts aren't going to be that big of a deal, but the mission construction thing might be a decent thing to get. Uh, as far as I know, uh, uh, it's going to be moddable too, so maybe, you know, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of stuff, I think, personally. $14.99 might be a little bit too high, but we'll see. I mean, I can't really judge anything right now. But there's something else that came out. Um, you know, since the developer change, I was... I was starting to think they were going to charge everybody, but they are going to keep the old promise that if you got the game before uh, April 2013, if you got it before then, uh, this expansion is going to be free for you. Absolutely free. And that's good. That's really good. So if you, if you play the game before that date, you're going to get it for free. And if you play the game after that date, uh, I feel bad for you. Uh, I need to check what I when I got it, but you know you should probably check that and make sure you don't get, you know, don't end up paying for something you don't want to pay for. So anyway, uh, the other news that came out earlier isn't that big, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, so we're getting new for the, you know, for the expansion, big news for the expansion from a week ago. Uh, we're getting a new suit. Basically new suits. New, new Kerbal suits. Very cool, historically looking suits. And, uh, you know, they're going to be different colors for different situations. So, you know, this to me, it looks like a, co uh, you know, a combination of the Gemini spacesuit and the uh, Cosmonaut spacewalk suit. So, you know, they're pretty similar, but I think it's pretty, it looks kind of, it's going to be like that, just with big heads because Kerbals have big heads. I'll be posting a picture of that on the screen right now. Multiple pictures. So I probably started posting them a little bit back. But yeah, uh, there's going to be a poll that you can go and vote on. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that. And uh, so you can go vote on what you want to have for colors in different situations. Maybe you want a blue spacesuit for the EVAs and a red spacesuit for the, you know, in, uh, ground exploration. That would be cool, like different suits for different, like for ground exploration, stuff like that. So maybe, you know, just go ahead and vote. Make sure you vote till your opinion is heard. And other news, we got some balancing on parts that are going to be coming out to make sure they're not OP and uh, make sure they complement the old parts and make sure they don't actually make the game too easy or too hard because you want to use those parts, right? And uh, yeah, so links are going to be in the description to the dev block, the whole thing. I made a miss something. I don't think so. I read it all. And yeah, we're getting an expansion soon. So very nice. Very nice. It's been a while since we got a big, really worthwhile update. The last update wasn't that big of a deal. It was mostly just languages, but whatever. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember to spread the word around so more people watch this. This is big news. And uh, yeah, you know, make sure to check out my top five mod list or KSP. I may release a you know a modded gameplay soon of something or just a review or something. I don't know. But make sure to subscribe and all that stuff. Click on the notification bell. 
Uh, I may change the schedule of these. I don't know. We'll see. Probably on a Saturday from now on, I think. Because that's when the death vlog is released. So yeah, guys. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.